So my partner and I had to go shopping for food today and we decided to both wear some sort of face protection while going to the mall. He just took a buff, you know those things to keep the sweat off your face when you're exercising? He actually just took a buff and put it over his mouth and nose. Um, I thought I had some old dust masks in a drawer that I bought because I have dust allergies. It turns out they're actually FFP2s, which, you know, under these circumstances, felt like if you find an, an open ang pao in the back of the Lord of the Rings that you've been keeping for six months after Chinese New Year, and it turns out there's actually still money inside. So, good luck. But anyway, I thought I would take the opportunity to explain um, something about N95s and FFP2s, which are somewhat similar. Well, one is US, one is Europe standard. But um, to explain something about uh, these kind of masks for people who are not familiar with them, for those of you who don't normally wear them for working in a lab or working in a hospital. Um, again, I do also want to emphasize that um, under the circumstances, you should not be wasting these unless you are really taking care of a sick friend or a sick relative, okay? But if you need to wear them, here's something to keep in mind. Um, okay, first of all, please put them on the right way up. My friend in Belgium said he saw a guy on the bus wearing it with the metal thing at his chin instead of his nose. The metal thingy is supposed to go on your nose and it's supposed to mold to the shape of your nose, so it's like bendable metal, you can pinch it. Okay, um, so the thing a lot of people complain about these is that they're uncomfortable. Um, I'm sorry, but the fact is that they're supposed to be uncomfortable. Because the thing is that all the air that you're inhaling is supposed to pass through the mask, right? So when you breathe in, you should actually feel the mask suck in towards your face a bit. Um, you shouldn't feel any air rushing in through the sides here or here or here. If you can feel air rushing in, then it means the air of all the virus and bacteria and what is coming into the side, it's not passing through the mask and getting trapped in the mask, and you are breathing in all the virus from the side. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be uncomfortable. That's just how it is. Um, so for those of us who do work in a lab on a reg and have to wear these on a regular basis, um, when we work in a research institute or what, the safety officer will perform a fit test on us and oftentimes in a large research institute you have a few different models available and then you can test which model fits best on you. So what the safety officer will do is they have a spray bottle of some kind of um, artificial flavoring that either tastes very sweet or very bitter and they'll spray it at your face and then ask you if you can taste it. So obviously if you can taste it that means the droplets are passing through the mask and it's not working well. So that means you have to either adjust it or try a different model. So, but anyway, the, um, I realize people can't do that under home circumstances. So the important thing to note is that when you wear it, um, you should feel the mask like suck in a little bit when you breathe. Um, so I'm sorry, it's going to be uncomfortable, but that's how it is. Again, if you are wearing it because you need to take care of um, a sick friend or sick relative, um, just try to make sure it fits properly. And good luck and good health to everybody. Sekian terima kasih.